before I get into the video, I hope you guys enjoyed my little skit that I made. I was just having fun. It just came out, came off the top of my head, right? I knew I was gonna speak on this topic for you guys to update you guys on my my journey, my no PMO journey. So I said, hey, let me just make a skit because I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos, probably 100% of you guys will be able to relate to that skit. If not, then you're probably like 10 years old. By the way, it's funny. I made that celibacy video, what, three days ago and I lost literally like 20 plus subscribers that day. I gained some, so it kind of didn't, you know, the dent wasn't so, so bad, but geez, I just talked about, I just talked about why I became celibate and 20 people were like, unsubscribe, 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 this guy's a faggot, this guy's gay, oh my gosh, he's not having sex, he's a liar. So anyway, on to no PMO journey. Now, within those 20 days, I had three wet dreams, okay? On day three, so after three days of starting, I had a wet dream. And then after that wet dream, about four days later, so about day eight, I had another wet dream. And then about day 17, I had my third wet dream. So between wet dream number one and wet dream number two, the gap was a lot smaller in between the days. And then between wet dream number two and wet dream number three, the gap was a lot bigger. So I guess my body was readjusting to not, right? And therefore, I was getting better at controlling my urges. I guess when I released it, my body released it naturally because even though I was forcing myself to not do it, my body still needs to release it. And therefore, for those of you guys who wonder if it's a bad thing because I know it's no PMO as in no porn, no masturbation, and no orgasm, that is talking about deliberately. There's a difference between you doing this, you sleeping, and you go like, and you actually having sex. There's three different ways of busting your nut and they're all different, okay? And the point of this is by deliberately not doing it. So for those of you guys who, who are doing it and you have a wet dream, don't sweat it. You're, this, the point of this is to not destroy your libido. In fact, your libido increases dramatically. So after doing this for about, a, okay, about four days, four to five days in, my confidence has went up. My confidence went up. I'm able to speak to people a lot more. I speak a lot more clearly than before. I don't stumble over my words as much. I tone down uh, the speed of the speed at which I talk. And people even notice in my videos. They're like, "Yo, Simon, like you seem a lot more grounded. Like you seem more uh, zen or whatever the word is." It's, oh, and. I was like, yo, it's, it's cool that you guys were noticing it without me even telling you, right? Because some of you guys didn't even realize I was doing it. It's like, y'all were just watching my videos and you're just like, damn, like, yo, Simon, you seem a lot more chill now. I even invited a friend over that I haven't seen in three years in person. Well, I saw her, I saw her this summer, but it was just like a run-in, but I actually spent time with her after three years of not really seeing her. And she even noticed a, a, a difference in my demeanor. I wasn't as shy, timid, I wasn't as quiet. I was more aggressive and more just uh, confident, right? I wasn't actually going after her, she's my friend and everything, but it was just, it was just cool to hear that there was a change in how I am or how people perceive me. Not just from her, but probably from other women who see me, from you guys who watch me, there was a change. I don't know if it's scientific, but hey, I was noticing the change within myself and it feels so much, it's so much more reassuring to see that other people see the change in you. Now between days eight and 10, oh my gosh, let me tell you, my libido was going off. Like I was walking around with boners like all day long. And the funny thing is, is I didn't really have that urge to just fap. Like lately, I've actually been looking into sex, like education. So not porn or or actual watching, like actually watching videos of people having sex. But I've been looking into just the science behind it, the mind, be, the mind of a woman when it comes to that. Uh, everything. I just been researching it because it fascinates me. That's what I like. To, that's what I like to do. And. My libido just was going crazy during day, days 8, 9, and 10, and then it kind of calmed down. It calmed down to about days 18, 19, and 20. And 20 was when I just couldn't control it, and I, I popped. So it's safe to say that every 10 days for me, 
every eight to 10 days for me was pretty freaking crazy. It was pretty crazy. And the second time around, I couldn't control it. But hey, I don't feel bad failing because it was a learning experience. It let me know how my body works. It let me know what caused me to fall. And the thing that caused me to fall was being idle, an idle mind. It usually happens late at night when I just when I just decide to give in because when I'm when I know I should be going to sleep so I can just start the next day, I stay up watching videos or looking for videos to watch and then my mind wanders off and then my, my libido gets high, libido sex drive for those of you guys who don't know, and then I just give in. And I gave in that time. You know, I was on Twitter, scrolled past some some uh, adult videos because people retweeted it. So I clicked on the account, I watched some, and then I went and I took it up a notch. And then there you go. Pretty much what you see in the skit is what I did, except it was at night, or actually it was like five o'clock in the morning. So yeah, that was pretty much my experience for the 20 days. Uh, right now, I think I'm on day three because I'm starting back again on, so 28, 29, 30, today's the 30th, right? So pretty much day three. And I'm not really trying to count the days. I just know what day I'm at, but I'm not trying to count the days because I'm not planning on ending. Again, if I end up failing again like once a month, I'm cool because that's still a huge difference. Once a month as opposed to probably once or twice a week, that's a big change, okay? It's a big change and it's really teaching me discipline and I really encourage you guys to try it out. Even if there's no scientific, even if it's a placebo effect, just go for it and see how it works for you. You don't always have to rely on science for everything. Experience things for yourself. Just experience things for yourself and see how you feel. And if it changes your life, F what science says. If, if you go to a scientist and they say, oh, that doesn't really work, it's just a placebo effect. And you're like, yo, I did it and it worked for me. That's all that matters. So I encourage you guys to try it out and tell me how it goes down below. I'll continue to update you guys on my future experiences in regards to the celibacy uh, and the no PMO, no fap journey. So yeah, uh, I'll talk to y'all next time. Done. Shit, 20 days is too long. 20 days is too long. Okay, you know what? Okay, my bro's playing music. Okay. Wow, resolutions, no.